State and federal authorities are working around the clock in Charleston, West Virginia, after a spill leaked chemicals into the Elk River, just one mile upstream from a local water treatment facility. So the spill comes from a 48,000 gallon chemical storage tank from Freedom Industries. Right now, West Virginia Governor Earl Ray Tomlin has declared a state of emergency for nine counties surrounding Charleston, West Virginia. Schools and businesses have been closed. And the 300,000 or so residents that have been affected by this spill are told not to drink the water, not even to wash their hands with it, only to use it to flush the toilet and in case of a fire emergency. Meanwhile, President Barack Obama has declared a federal emergency in West Virginia. FEMA and the Department of Homeland Security are both getting involved in the relief efforts right now as investigators try to figure out how contaminated the water is, how serious the problem is, and how they can go ahead and fix it. Now, the president of Freedom Industries, the company that actually leaked those chemicals, put out a statement just a little bit ago today, and I want to read part of it. It says, quote, we have been working with local, federal, and safety and environmental entities, including the DEP, Coast Guard, Army Corps of Engineers, and Homeland Security, and are following all necessary steps to fix the issue. Our team has been working around the clock since the discovery to contain the leak to prevent further contamination. Now, the statement went on to say that the company doesn't know how the leak happened in the first place. It also doesn't know exactly how much of the chemical was released. Now, this chemical is a foaming agent used in the coal process. Coal, of course, is a major industry in West Virginia, and this chemical is actually used uh, right before the coal goes to market in order to clean it. Something else that authorities don't know at the moment is the possible hazards that this chemical has on the human body. So far, no one has been reported as experiencing negative side effects as a result of this. However, a number of people have gone to local hospitals to be checked for possible symptoms. But again, no one yet has been reported as being sick. Now, something else to keep in mind here is that some of the symptoms that are involved in this or that authorities are warning residents of is burning throat, itching hands and uh, arms and skin, and a lot of other symptoms that are just really scary to begin with. Local grocery store owners have described the mad dashed by local residents there as pandemonium in order to get their hands on some clean bottles of water. Residents there are even resorting to buying bags of ice and sporting drinks and soda and things like that in order to have something to drink as there is a shortage right now at the moment. We don't know right now how long it's going to take for the spill to be cleaned up, but residents are hopeful that it'll be done in the next few days. On the road to West Virginia, Megan Lopez, RT.